Hey guys, welcome back to my colourful country life. Today I am going to be playing around with some oil pastels that Artex have very kindly sent me to try out. Um, disclaimer here, I have never used oil pastels before. I actually don't own any either. Um, other than this set now actually so this is a brand new medium to me um, I am excited to try them out on a background though so we can have a play with these together and uh, learn together so I'm always looking for new and fun ways to create backgrounds I'm hoping this is going to work really well and be a great new find and a new addition to background mediums um, that I can use on my coloring pages and I have been working on this page here um that lulu has sent me from her new book a million puppies and i'm up to the background now i have been picturing it with a dark blue background so what we might do today is see if we can find some colors in this set to give this background a go i actually love how this page is turning out so far so fingers crossed this works for me first go usually doesn't but fingers crossed um okay so they have sent me these two sets the little set is a set of uh white pastel sticks so what i believe the whites can be used for is um so underpainting as a base layer to make the colors stand out more on a page and it brightens the colors as well i think it'll be really helpful if you're using the tanned uh, the toned tan paper as it's going to make the whites really pop on that page you can use them for highlights as well so um, to add like white highlights on your pages on elements um, it also says on the front blending and mixing as well so I'm assuming you can mix the colors together perhaps on a palette and make different shades um, also with blending I wonder if that's going to help get a smooth transition between colors if I can't do it with just the colors on their own. So that might be something to think about when I'm doing this background. I wonder if it's like, um, if it acts, acts a bit like a blending pencil would act. We might find out. So let's have a quick look inside. See if I can open this up. Okay. Oops. So here are our little oil pastel sticks and they're nice and cushioned in there. They do have this sort of wax paper, which is good. It's going to make it easier to hold, so it's not going to get too messy on our fingers. Now, if I just... So, they do feel, like, tacky to touch, I guess, because it's an oil medium. They're not wet, but they do have that sort of sticky tackiness to them. Yeah. Okay. So, let's have a look at the other box which is a 48 set now the packaging is pretty sturdy as well um so yeah like i said 48 set i do believe there is a bigger set a 72 set of colors oh look how pretty they are um this is actually a really good range of colors actually we've got some sort of muted tones we've got our reds our pinky reds blues greens purples we've got some pastel type of colors some browns Got a good range of colors here. Actually, these are these are really pretty. Actually, these ones in a row would make a really good um, color combination. I think, or maybe that one, that one, and that one. I like that one and that one too. They go well together too. I think. Actually, some of these colors look like they that pink kind of looks like it would match this pink here. We've got a pink. We've got an orange. These blues here match the picture these purples I could actually do um, a mix of these colors for a really colorful background instead of a dark blue kind of like the one I did in small victories could I you know what that might be too busy with all the colors on my page and maybe too advantageous for my very first time using oil pastels I think I'll stick to doing one color combination um what I think we'll do, I'm just going to swatch these colours out onto a blank piece of paper. I've got some blank paper here. Um, and then we might choose some colours and then attempt to create a background and see if this works well for me. So I'm just going to move these all to the side. Um, what I'm going to do is just, I think, hang on, let me zoom you in a little bit.
Okay, so I'm just going to roughly scribble them onto the paper and I think I'll do the three rows like we have here. Um, and I'm left-handed, so I'm going to go right to left and I might actually go down so I'm not making too much of a mess. So let's start with this. Oh, they're soft, aren't they? Very creamy and soft. Okay, so that is my quick scribbling swatches. Not the prettiest looking swatches, but they do the job. And I'll lift that up. I just stood in the scrap paper because I wasn't sure if I did a swatch sheet, whether they would um, swatch very well in the little gap. So I may redo the swatches in a swatch sheet, but they're the colors and I'm actually super impressed with this color range. They're really pretty and I can see lots of different combos that'll go well together for backgrounds. So I'm really hoping that I can get this background to work because these colors here, so them two and this lighter color over here would look really great together. Um, them three or them three would look really good. Um, that one with that one. I really like this color as well. These colors are beautiful. So all of these together would make a beautiful background. Um, even this beautiful like fuchsia pink with these paler pinks would look nice as well. So I do really like these lighter colors, but um, I want, I don't know if I'm going to do dark on the edges and then lighter towards the center or darker to the center and then lighter as it goes out. What do you think? I'm asking you, but you can't answer me. Um, what I'm thinking color wise. So these sort of colors here, these sort of ultramarine looking colors match this guy, but I don't want those sort of colors. I kind of want something that's going to offset this pink and this sort of aqua color. So I'm thinking this one here. Let me try this one again because it looks like it has a bit of green. Oh, it's got a bit of green on that side. Uh, see that and that would go really well. I'm thinking though, you know what, let me get another piece of scrap paper. One second. Let's test something. Let's go with, um, hang on, can you even see that? I'm thinking we're going to try that colour, that colour, that colour, and perhaps that colour. I'm going to swatch them on here and blend them out and see how well they work together. I'm just going to grab a paper stump. Okay, so we're going to be using that darker color and then that as our mid-tone, that as our light and that as our possible very light. Okay, let's see. Um, I'm going to go dark to light. I don't know how hard I'm supposed to be pressing. I'm supposed to be overlapping. Okay, this is working. That's pretty. 
Okay. Um, I'm going to blend. I'm just going to just clean this end clean, I think. I'll blend this way. This is blending really easy. Oh, I like that. How much do you have to blend it out? Do we need to go all the way out? Okay. So, I do like those colours. I don't know if I have to blend it out as much as I blended it out. Let's just try and layer over the top again. See what happens. I quite like it dark like that before it's blended. Um, I can't be bothered to clean this just yet, so let's try that side. And if I leave it like that, is it going to be... Definitely going to have to use fixative on this. <laughs> okay, you know what? That's going to work. I'm going to go dark on, the, dark on the inside, light on the outside. Yes, no. Decisions, decisions, I think we will. Let me move this out of the way. So we're going to go dark to light. And we're going to go... It's going to have to be the dark. Okay. I should have taken a photo of this before I started, just in case this doesn't work. So... I've just cleaned off a few other paper stumps or tortillions ready to go. Okay, okay. <laughs> let's give this a go. There's no turning back now. I wonder if I can, um, where's the colour I've been using here? I wonder if you can do it like this to give them a small, oh yeah. Oh, look at that, okay. Use this one, it's pointier. This is working beautifully. So far, so good. Okay. Um, uh, let me do this side. How far out am I going to go with this dark colour? Um,
All right, that is the background complete. Now it's not quite as smooth as I'd like. So I've just grabbed a couple of cotton pads here and I'm just gonna rub it over and see if it makes any difference. I don't want to rub the whole color off. I think I used um, too much. I was a little bit too heavy handed. Okay. That's working well. It's a bit light on the edge now though. It's coming smoother, but now I've got this line here, so I might have to go and fix that up. I might go over it with that second, um, the second lightest colour, the second last colour I used. It's coming up much smoother though, I like that actually. I definitely used too much product. If anybody uses these often in their coloring books and they've got any tips and tricks, would love to hear them. I'm definitely gonna have to spray this with fixative afterwards. Um, and I guess if I was putting in my, if I was doing this straight in my coloring book, I'd probably keep some paper in between just in case. Because it feels like it might transfer. You can see, I'll just show you the difference before we finish. Um, I'm going to go over with the second last colour. The colours I used, actually, we've got Prussian blue, uh, blue, sky blue, and baby blue. So around these edges where you can now see that definite line, I'm going to go over. Hang on, let me do it now and see if this works. Let's add in this sky blue. And I'm actually going to just use the cotton pad itself. Yeah, look at that. Much smoother finish. Yep, I like that. I'm going to go and do that all the way around now. So that's um, the new edge and that's how it looked before I started to take some of that colour off. So there's definitely too much there and I can feel how thick it is. Where there it kind of feels a bit more just like a normal soft pastel layer. So I'm going to go and redo that or finish that.
All right, I'm really happy with those results. Actually, it looks so much better now, blending with the uh, makeup pad instead. Um, I think that worked out really well. I probably, if I was going to do it again, I would um, use the makeup pad to begin with as much as I could um, to blend it out, and that came out really nice and smooth. So I'm really happy with that. Let me just find some prices for you. Okay, so. Um, for the 48 set, it's currently $45.99 from Amazon Australia. And Artex have just told me that there's a 10% off um, coupon on the Amazon page itself. And that's valid until the 2nd of July. Um, US Amazon, there's $6 off at the moment. That's a long-term uh, discount. And the UK Amazon, it's 10% off a long-term discount. So I will link all those details down below if you want to go have a look. Let me just see if I can find. So it's $45.99 and then less 10%. The white colours are $15.99. No discount on that. That's Australian dollars again. And the large set, let's have a quick look. $59.99 and that's also has a 10% coupon so it's $59.99 minus 10% so um and that's all on Amazon Australia it's Australian dollars I will link all the purchase details down below if anyone's interested let me know what you think I think I did okay for a first time using oil pastels now do you if you have used these in your coloring books before how do they fare transfer wise I am going to go spray these now with um a, my workable fixative i'm going to spray that on top and i'll probably put it in just a plastic sleeve um if it is if it was in my book i'd put some paper just in case but let me know if you've used in in your books before if you've had any contact transfer or anything like that um or any tips with your blending i think that um makeup pad worked really well there's a little spot i can see right there that's not blended um so what i'm going to do now is go in and finish all my details on this page so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and bye for now.